Hello my YouTubians, this is just a little thing because I've been asked so many times in the last uh, four or five weeks about possessions, okay? So, in saying this, I want you to understand this is not up for debate, it's not a um, whatever. This is my opinion from my experience, from what I've seen. It's what I call it, okay? Um, yeah, so I'll give you what my take on it is okay so that uh you can have the answers that you keep asking because i get asked so many times i'm just going to do this one little cinema okay stages of possessions from my experience start off there are first things that they call that, that, that are called attachments okay now it's usually not necessarily a demon or anything but a, a nasty spirit will sometimes attach sometimes you'll get good attachments too but anyway it starts off with an attachment okay and most people can get rid of attachments themselves by and and this will be in so you want to be a paranormal investigator later um most people get rid of attachments by saging holy water anointed oil um have someone pray for you and do that for you you know uh, attachments and the earlier stages are not too hard to get rid of Okay, uh, but people do get them, and and you might have to you might have to do it two or three times to get rid of it. But you can get rid of it yourself. You don't need professional help at this point. Okay. Uh, then comes oppression. Now, in the early stages of oppression, you and your friends can still deal with it uh, rather well and get rid of it, of course. But as it gets stronger and stronger and stronger, then you may want to seek help from somebody uh, who's a shaman or a healer or a pastor or a priest or somebody that deals with it more often okay from there you will hit from there it goes into actual possession which is a lot worse and it's it's just get help period <laughs> uh, but even possession has three stages okay there's the mental stage of possession and that's when the person hears the voices and, and, and acts differently and, and responds to things that aren't there. That's called mental possession, all right? From there, it goes to physical possession, which is, which is worse because now not only are you hearing these things, you're starting to act on them. So you start to physically do things that, that these voices are telling you to do okay <clears throat> that becomes a physical after that it's spiritual oppression where your spirit is being pushed down its spirit is being lifted up inside you and the other two are you know it, everything's working against you now right at this point you need an exorcism you're in a bad bad state of affairs okay you need definitely need exorcism and definitely need help from a healer or a shaman or a druid or somebody okay you need help after that is what's called a perfect possession and there's no help there's nothing anyone can do because you're yourself you're not fighting it anymore you're at the point where you accept it and you like it and so at that point there's nothing that anyone can do for you so there you have it and i gotta get this phone call